If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, well welcome to Life of Gaz. Now I try my best to upload a new video every single Wednesday and if you want to keep up to date with that make sure you hit the subscribe button and more importantly ring the bell to get all the notifications. Hey guys, welcome to Life of Gaz and today I'm fishing down here at Stanley Villa uh, Carp Fishery. Now this is a new fishery, it's only just been stocked, there's a lot of virgin fish in here and as luck has it today I've got the entire lake to myself. Now I've seen a few fish moving already so fingers crossed we are going to see some fish today. Now today I'm mainly going for carp but there are a chance of uh, picking up bream as well. There are some rudd in here but I don't fancy my chances of catching them with the gear I'm using. So let's look at the setup I'm using and we'll get started. So here are guys the setup I'm using today. Now all I've got is this clip just here. That's just going to sit on there. Then I'm going to throw a bead down the line as well. My weight's going to clip to the bead. And then I'm going on to a hair rig uh, just here. Which I'm going to tie on with a little bit of a clinch knot just there. So six or seven times round. Just like that. Back through there, and back through the loop again. If you want to see these knots, I did do a knot video, uh, which is always worth checking out if you're unsure on knots. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then, just gonna fish a boilie on one side and corn on the other on the bottom of this hair rig. And of course, we got the rods as well. So I got my two, uh, two and three quarter pound test curve cart rods, bait runners. Uh, just sitting on two pods there and I've got one heading out this way and one heading out that way. Since I've got the lake to myself I can move about quite a lot with my cast. Well guys, the corn's working and my first ever little leather cart just there. So I've beat the blank already, nice one. Okay guys, not quite what I'm intending to catch there, but 
I managed to catch a little rud on a carp rig. Look at that. First ever rud I've ever caught as well. So I'm actually quite pleased with this little guy. Beautiful little fish, aren't they? Okay guys, so what's happening at the moment is I'm getting lots of bites down on this little area just down here. Now, I've got one rod which obviously is out over there, nothing's really happening on that. I had a little couple of clicks on the bait runner but it didn't turn into anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one now out to the other side just over here. So all the little bites I'm getting on the corn, hopefully um, I'm going to be able to pick up some more fish down in that area. So I'm going to still continue to fish one with corn and the other one with boilie. But I'm going to bait up this area down here and just see if I can uh, sort of add to the tally and add to that one little carp which I've already got under my belt. Well after that rud I've managed myself a little roach as well. Then I got another run on that rod and obviously picked it up, struck into it and felt the weight of the fish there straight away. Now this was an energetic and very fast fish and um, this fish I had on for around about sort of 10-15 seconds I think and it come up, broke the surface and it was a beautiful little uh, lateral line mirror. Now unfortunately as he pulled back down the hook pulled out. Now my thinking is if this was a bigger fish and he was capable of pulling the line with him and taking, uh, obviously taking line off the reel that the hook wouldn't have pulled. But at the rate that fish went down unfortunately I couldn't drop the rod tip fast enough. No sooner had I dropped that first rod down and uh, put it on the side, the other rod went and unfortunately I just was not quick enough to get over there to pick that rod up and strike into it. Well after that first carp it is obvious to me there was also quite a lot of silvers feeding down in that area as well and the fact that I'd had already had a little rud and a roach as well. Now having said that the sun was coming up and I thought alright I'm not going to change tactics and start fishing silvers instead what I'll do is I'll see if I can hold out for another carp 
But if I pick up silvers, I'm happy because to me, a fish is a fish and I'm just happy to be outdoors fishing. But when I look, looked at this venue, um, I did see a few fish moving down in this area. And what I looked at was the fact that I had an island I could cast towards, which didn't produce anything for me in the first two hours, which is why I chose to move over uh, both rods down to that little margin. Now on that margin, there was a bit of a weed bed. There were some rushes overhanging. And also as well, the wind direction was pushing all the wind, uh, all the surface water down towards me. Now, looking at this lake and thinking, okay, I've not really got a lot of experience of this lake at all. I've never been here in the past. I thought this is probably a good place to start. So that's what I tried to do. And instead of changing over to um, some smaller hooks and fishing maggot for silvers, I thought I'll stick with the carp rigs and hold out and see if I can put another one on the bank. Well guys, at least the silvers are playing the game because that's another little roach there and I'm about ready to finish up really, but the carp are definitely in here. Uh, I've seen all the videos of them being stocked, but they don't seem to be in the mood to feed today. Boilies have not been touched at all. The only bait I've been catching on is corn, but I have had a few little line bites, which I think are just carp moving past, uh, past my gear without picking it up. Now I did lose one, I had a couple of, uh, I've had a couple of runs and I did land one as well, so it's not been a complete write off, but I'm definitely going to get back here when it's um, sort of settled in a little bit. Now, if you've liked this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here, check out my latest fishing video over there, and of course my freshwater playlist up top.